Welcome back everyone, Jose Tony One Crisis here and today we've got a new series on the channel. You probably remember this one. This is Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield with a whole bunch of stuff installed. We have of course Raven Shield. We have the expansion packs, the Dina Sword and Iron Grab. We have probably the greatest Raven Shield mod of all time, the Supply Drops mod by the godfather of Raven Shield mod in Dot Twee. We have uh, two versions of the Elite Counter Terror mod by AC11B, I think that was his name, yeah. Uh, an old version that adds a bunch of models, and the current 2.074 version which adds enhanced AI. We also have a few modifications mod, um, uh, a few modifications made by Jugulator, which add, are added on top of like, uh, uh, what's the term, uh, Elite Counter Terror mod. Uh, I don't have 2.0 installed on this one because I like I actually like the way the base game looks and maybe 2.0 makes everything go a bit slower. But anyway, and we have some of my mods installed as well, which is general realistic mod, which modifies weapons and tango accuracy and uh, r rainbow accuracy for that matter, and a mod that I've been working on for a while, which modifies the damage system so that if you get shot instead of it being a random chance of something happening you actually have health a uh, very SWAT 4 or ready or not style only it uses the, the, the it varies like it, it's a bit difficult to explain it, it takes into account armor penetration and the damage and the weapon itself so what are we doing here so you either come from the full planning version of this series or you are probably new to this particular series in which case hello i am jose to in crisis so what we're doing on this one this is series two of my raven shield campaign which is not going to start on raven shield it's going to start on the classic missions that come on the expansion packs so what we're doing here is i'm going to play every single classic mission and every raven shield athena sword and iron grab mission but instead of doing like the usual completely planned the mission, have all eight operatives doing the entirety of the mission, I'm just gonna have myself and three other team members to complete every mission. So we just basically play SWAT 4 style by ear, improvising around every corner. So the first mission is the classic mission, the embassy mission, the very first mission Rainbow took part of. So let's get in there. Operation Steel Wind. Earlier this evening, armed members of the terrorist organization Free Europe seized control of the Belgian Embassy in London. Your mission is to retake the embassy with minimal civilian losses. Looks like we've got our first real job. The Brits would love to send in the SAS. The word from Brussels is no way. And London says the same about the Belgian ESI. I don't have to tell you that we're going under the microscope on this one. There are folks on both sides of the Atlantic who still aren't convinced that there's any need for a group like Rainbow. Take your time and study the situation carefully before you light the fuse. If we blow it the first time out, they may just shut us down. I'm going to make these videos as if they are separate from each other. So if we go through the briefing on the full planning version, I'm going to go through the briefing on the one team version. So like I said on that version, like... A Clark's voice actor just got better through the years. He got much better like in Rokespear and then in Ravenshield. He's just much more natural. So, here is the mission. Here is the embassy. Here is. Here's a 3D view of the embassy, which I cannot move for whatever reason. Got three floors. The top floor has a hostage. The second floor has a bunch of tangos. And in the original game, there was a tango here. There was a hostage here that if the tango's found, he will die. So, in the original game, you couldn't let that happen. And we have a tango in the basement, and this place is filled with tangos. There's like 20, 21, something like that. There's two back here, and there's the rest of them in all over the place. So for this one, of course, I'm not going to be planning, because I'm just going to take a team and play by ear. Although I think I'm going to go clear the back and enter through the top floor and just go top to bottom right so for this mission i'm gonna take ding i'm gonna try to take only people that were in the actual game at this point 
That will be this team. Dean, Santiago, Rene, and Jorg. For weapons, I'm going to take this press, the suppress the, the MP5 SD5. Always a good weapon. Gonna have to be careful though. I think these mooks don't have armor, so 9mm is gonna take them down in two rounds. Going to take the Romeo this time around. I did the Reaper on the first attempt and it worked very well. For weapon, for pistols, we're gonna take the 92 FS, 9mm, always a good choice. Technically, I don't need suppressed firearms, but I'm gonna take the MP5 because it's better. Uh, flashbangs and smokes and medium black armor. That's it. Or for people, they are ordered by uh, their assault skill. I always see Jorg's stats and he's so broken in this game. It's He's absurd. Um, I'm gonna have Santiago and Jorg bring medical kits in case we get hurt. It is necessary. Okay, I'm gonna save it like this. Like this. Dang it, I didn't want to remove everything. You don't want to see YouTube 2 because it's the second series. Save. And we get in here. Like, this is the way the things are gonna work out. I just select teams, select weapons. A general overview of what I'm doing, which is basically top floor, then clear every floor, then clear the bottom, then head out. And that's it. This The plan is very much quicker, but the operation is gonna take like twice as long or thrice as long. It's gonna be longer. So get used to that. Let's get in there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are so back. Okay. Give me this side. Okay. Um, there's something I had to modify. Oh yeah, I was going to modify first the weapon position, which I think I did say in the planning version of this, and well, weapon position is not going to do much for my aiming right now. I see someone. Weapon position is not going to do much for this. But what I'm also going to modify is the base sights that we're using. Like, you see this reticle. It's the typical reticle. Used in pretty much every shooter in modern history. Which is a dot with four lines that show you your accuracy. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go. Let's go, move, move. Hostile down. Hold position. Holding position. This is just one. I need to go get the other one. Threat to fall in. Come on, Contact. retreat. Hold up. Hold Holding. position. We, do we have to enter through there? There's someone. You know what? Reform on me. In Change of plans. Go, 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 go! Move out. Yeah, I saw you. Don't, don't, don't think I didn't see you. Tango down. Threat neutralized. Okay. Fall in. Uh, like I was saying, to you. you have these usual standard ready kill, uh, the dot and the four lines, which is a perfectly understandable and reasonable ready kill to use. Like it's been used in game scenes. Guys, where are you? <laughs> Get some people down here. Don't down. do that. Don't do that. Frags are pretty lethal. Threat neutralized. Okay. Things have gone pear shape, which is what usually happens when you don't have a plan. But we will. We will persevere. And we will succeed. Okay. Door closed. So yeah, this is the rig. Uh, in its inception, in the very first Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Six game, and it's in sequel, uh, Rogue Spear, you don't have this. You had different shaped reticules, like a circle instead of a dot. It was a circle with the front lines. With rifles, you had a rifle sight with the front lines, but it was different. It wasn't this specific uh, reticule that you used. And in fact, Raven Shield has those reticules, like those different reticules for different weapon types from the older Rainbow Six games, but they are only usable if you decide to remove the first person weapon, like let me show you, uh, let me think if, let me see if that's active, so if you take that, 
Huh. Okay. So you know what? We're gonna stick with this. So I think the twist mod forces the first person weapon to be up. Yeah, in every case it forces it to be up. Oh, okay, I run into a problem. I love when things go wrong when I don't test them. So this is the usual reticle that you'd see in the... Uh, well, it didn't have that little line on the bottom. This is a reticle you'd see in... Rogue and the original Rainbow Six. And, like, I, as you can see, Raven, Raven Shield has that reticule. But I'm gonna remove it because it causes issues. Uh, but it's only active when you remove the first person weapon, which I absolutely don't want to do. I want to keep it. So, I'm gonna be modifying general releasing mode so that you can always use the modify the, the uh, proprietary, let me call it, reticule. Because it is better and it's... You know, it's different. It's different and it's always... Oh no. It's always too good to try different things. Okay, um... Threat neutral. Go, go, go! Just gonna have to deal with it. Actually, Reform on me. me. In formation. No one? Anyone? No one. Hold up. Holding the control. Threat down. Yes, come say hi to me. By getting in front of my gun barrel. I appreciate that. It makes everything more difficult. Okay, this uh, it, it makes everything easier. Okay, this is clear. Uh, boys, get in there. Yes, sir. Yes, just get in there. Just get in there. Just get in there. Clear. Ball okay, in. come with me. With you, sir. As long as no hostage dies, this is going perfectly fine. Tango, Good job. I might switch to full auto because it's, it's just die. Okay, this is here. Okay, um, give me a moment. I have to go do something. Tiny little explanation of how my system is set up right now. Um. I have a microphone, which is actually my phone. It's just my phone. So if there's any notification on it, you might hear it, which you probably just did there. You just... Guys, how you get lost? Okay, you got back. Um, if there's any notification, you might hear it, which you probably just did there. I don't have an actual microphone, so my phone is gonna have to do. At least the quality is not terrible. And I don't have headphones either, so... This is clear. So I have my... Reform on me. My phone be flanked by my speakers, which... In editing, I can fix those kinds of stuff. Sort of. But it's not great. I myself will acknowledge that it is not great. Flashbang? Do not be scared. Get me out of here. Sit. Sit. You're not getting out of here. You are... You're going to stay here because... Going out, out there with us is... It's very scary. It's very dangerous. And get out of the doorway, please. I'm gonna run out of ammo at this rate. Get out of the doorway, Walter. I mean, you. I know you're a rookie, but... At least in rainbow terms, you're a rookie. Come on. But you should know well, you should not be standing in the doorway. This is just basic counterterrorism stuff. Okay, you guys go right. Go, go, go! I will go left. Go, 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 go. Reform on me. On the way. In formation. Yeah, this looks weird AF with like the, the sight. Like the, 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 the miniscope overlay coming up with the actual sight. But that's because I tried to show you stuff. I love when things don't work out. I'm gonna pop a smoke here. Instead of like, like coming around and maybe getting shot from one direction, let's just pop a smoke and hope for the best. That's not good. That's very much not good. Hold up. Holding. Stay here. 
Someone's out there having fun. Which I entirely disapprove. Someone's out there. And I don't like it. Fall in. Come on. We'll get there. Let's see. There's probably someone there. I saw them, but... Hostile down. What's a chemical dude doing here? I'm gonna throw smoke. Again, I'm kind of paranoid that there's actually a city here. But he isn't. Which also works out, but it's weird because... In the base game, there was someone there. There's a mook with a sniper rifle here. Why? Okay, we're almost done with this floor. We just need to clear this room. Which will be a very smart place for a hostage or a tango to hold themselves up because of that uh, turnover table. But there's no one there. Okay, we appear to be clear. You know how... Okay, they actually treated like a proper star. I was gonna, I was gonna go in a, in a rant that they didn't polish this, these maps that much, but they actually did. <laughs> My apologies, Redstorm. Why is that open? I tried to order them to go out there, but they didn't. Anyway. You know, if I was actually planning this, I have a containment team that will prevent this kind of stuff, but I actually don't! So there's probably one or two mooks out there that might be a bit upset that we go out there with the hostages, so... Let's be careful. Just like in the planned version, pop a smoke down there, wait for it to saturate a bit. Go. Contact. Hostile neutral. Mission okay. There was no one out there. That was a very good mission. Good, good work. So, 10 minutes when the planned version took just 5 minutes. As you can see, missions take a while longer because there's less of us and we can cover less ground. But still. Very, very good operation on this one. And now I'm gonna have to, I, I'm gonna try to make a mental note and a house rule that if someone went on a mission, I cannot reuse them. So I cannot, uh, for, for Cold Thunder, which is the next mission, I cannot use uh, Ding, I cannot use Hanabiska, Raymond, or Walter. There's plenty of operatives, so there's plenty of people to use. Don't worry, we have enough people. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next mission.